from a signal for a four metals, which is very nice, oxalate, strong field, and everybody gets back to the ball. Thanks, Tim. Down the back straight, it's Angus C of Old Melburnians. He's the one making the big moves. So C goes up to Padgham of Fox Hill. Out wide, it's Latui of Nana Wadding, also running well. But Omak here, trying to add some junior medal tally to their open recent years, recent hauls in this 4x4 four four distance. So Angus C, a long way in head on leg number one. They'll change in front of it, looks like at the moment. Nutterwaddy in Bendigo region, Diamond Valley coming home strongly. On the inside, Geelong Guild, and as I said, it's exciting to see an Ivanhoe relay team here today. Their first one on the track. OMAC change first, Diamond Valley change second, Geelong Guild third, Bendigo region, Ivanhoe, and Nutterwaddy not out of it by any means. But now it's Fraser Simons. He's your 400 metre hurdles, all schools gold medalist. He's out in front now, striding away from Geelong Guild, and the Geelong Guild athlete would be Jack Coltish. We've seen Sophie go around today, and Jack looks strong as well here. Diamond Valley, it's Damien Furlong. With 200 to go, Bendigo Region are in fourth, Nunawadi and Ivanhoe. But it's all OMAC out in front. We're gonna be pretty familiar with the next runner, it is Jack Paris. The under 16 all schools, the under 16 all schools champion over 400. Jack Perris will receive the baton next. And there's some fair genetics in this boy. So off he goes. Jack Perris takes the baton for OMAC. Diamond Valley next. They had a big second leg. Geelong Guild into third. Bendigo Region. Nana Wadi in some very impressive spectacles. And back to Ivanhoe. But out front, Jack Perris. No one's going to catch Jack Perris from that distance. He puts 50 metres on Diamond Valley now, back to Geelong Guild, and Bendigo Region flying, it is Ben Powell. Ben Powell might round these two up. Ben Powell, national finalist over the under, 17400, and he is flying. So Jack Perris currently out front, but the big move is Bendigo Region from fourth. Now Geelong Guild going to second, Diamond Valley getting swamped here, Bendigo Region moved to third. But it's OMAC, OMAC change first. They're going to pass over to Ross Hine. So Hine gets it for OMAC. It's a battle for second. Guild, Region, and also Diamond Valley. Ivanhoe get it next, and then Nunna Wadding. I thought it was really average. Out the front, Ross Hine, OMAC. But the battle and the interest lies for the silver and bronze. Bendigo Region hanging on. And that is Vatoi. Vatoi trying to hang on to... Diamond Valley and Geelong Guild. Much more familiar we are with Vitoli over the 100 and 200 distance. Here, can he use the speed to win the four? But it's all Ross Hine. Ross Hine and OMAC, they are going to take a four by four win. It's going to be a big one. Vitoli swings wide, the Bendigo athlete. Vitoli goes outside of Guild. Diamond Valley on the inside fighting back. But it's going to be Bendigo region, I think. Vitoli getting some staggered legs, though. But the one-two champ takes it. Diamond Valley lunges. No! Guild hangs on. They gave everything, the three boys. Vitoli waited and waited and waited. He came home late. Diamond Valley looked like they were gone, but they found something at the end. Guild, though, got up for the bronze. None of what in next. And back to Ivanhoe. Be great to see them represented. But our winners, undeniably, there. Old Melbourneians Athletic Club, under 18 boys, 4x4.